I would uh wait until you know. All right, let's do this, boys. I mean, Gorilla is the company that makes Horizon, yeah. But I didn't know what that is, the Gorilla Collective. It didn't seem like it'd be them. Eight minutes, 46 seconds. Oh, hell yeah, Bungie. Let's go. Good shit. Oh, good shit. They're going to keep this up for eight, eight and a half minutes. Fuck yeah. Make all the fucking gamers watch this and pay attention. That's awesome. I love Bungie. Holy shit. That's awesome. Announced the release of Horizon on PC. I don't think they are. I mean, they could. I don't know about that. Could also throw Gwen Stacy in there. I wonder if they're going to do... I don't know. If they did Gwen Stacy in the next Spider-Man, I that would be very... I mean, they could do it, but, like, Gwen's supposed to be from, like, Peter's high school, you know? And if he doesn't know there's a Steam page, Teddy, for Horizon, is there really? Because last we heard, those were just rumors. Which, again, I mean, I would believe it. Oh, wait, no, no, no! No, 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 not Horizon. Horizon's confirmed. Oh, never mind, never mind. Yeah, no, Horizon's confirmed, yeah. Um, I forgot about that. Spider-Man was one that somebody the other day in chat was like, Spider-Man's coming to PC, and I was like, don't know about that one. I think that's just rumors. Um, yeah, Horizon is, for sure. I forgot about that. Yeah. Look at that. Fucking keep those links up on the screen. Don't mind me, too. I'm just gonna bookmark every single one of them because some of those i didn't know about i'm not gonna lie like when this stuff started happening the um like oh god how long ago was it at this point two or three weeks ago i made a bookmark folder called important shit and i started bookmarking like police brutality videos and r fucking racist police and like all sorts of ridiculous garbage shit that I was like, you know, this is important. I need to, you know, I need to save this. Um, I made a bookmark folder called important shit. And that bookmark folder is so goddamn long now. There's so many fucking clips in there and it's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's upsetting. You know what? I'll call this important shit too. Fuck it. And hopefully this one won't get nearly as crowded. Where did that book? I just made a folder. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Hold on. I also made a, I also, I mean, you know, politics, whatever. I'm getting political. I also made a bookmark folder called, um, called Trump bullshit. And that one is also pretty, uh, pretty big. <laughs> that folder is also, uh, pretty full at this point. <laughs> uh, let's see. Breath of the Wild sequel. Breath of the Wild sequel is coming for sure. I've already changed the timeline, though. Miles Morales is supposed to exist in a timeline where Peter is dead. Oh, that's true. I mean, that's, yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, damage. Damage is awesome. I mean, that was a tweet I was going to bring up, which I will in a second, actually. Um, dude, you know, do you know how many gamers are going to be mad at this? Fuck them. That's all. <laughs> I noticed recently that Aussie news networks were doing a much better job of covering the protests in America than your news channels. Yup. Yeah, man. Uh, hours of police brutality footage in the past few weeks. It's insane. It... It's, it's absolutely insane. It's gross. It's fucking... A couple of the links that I have bookmarked in that folder, one of them is a Google Doc that is hundreds of clips and videos. It's ridiculous. There's no amount of memory in the world to keep up with Trump's bullshit. <laughs> he tweeted something. You guys want to know? Oh, God. 
He tweeted something either today or a little bit ago. Don't mind me, I'm literally just tweeting, fuck yes, Bungie. Um, but he tweeted something a while ago, and I wanted, I didn't do this, but I almost just quote retweeted it and said, fuck you. Like I, <laughs> like I almost just wanted so bad, I mean, I did want so badly to just say, fuck you to the goddamn president. Put me on a list, I don't care. <laughs> oh my god. Saw in the comments of YouTube videos from our news channel that a bunch of American uh, were saying they were watching the Aussie News YouTube to stay updated with their shit. Yep, that sounds about right. That's not surprising at all. Not at all. Yeah, no, I love it. Eric, I was like, as soon as this popped up, I was like, yes, that's awesome. And so many gamers are going to be so mad and fuck them. <laughs> I've added it and said it many times on Twitter. That's funny. That's funny. Again, hold on. I was in the process of doing this, and I fucking got distracted. That was a weak. I'm sorry. That was a weak burp, guys. <clears throat> And I'm also just gonna, again, take a look at the uh, Bungie career website, make sure they're not looking for any video producers. Let's just see, you know, you never know. Maybe, maybe they are. They have been in the past. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I did actually look pretty recently. And they weren't, and it was sad. <laughs> I will say though, I'm not sure where that would be under their career site. Like they have it, they have it very like um, organized, like different ca categories, and I'm not sure what category it'd be under. <laughs> Mad about waiting nine more minutes, or their tech. I I actually don't know that word, Shonen. I'm not gonna lie to you, and now I'm gonna learn a new word today. Tacitly. Tacitly, in a way that is understood or implied without being directly stated. Okay. Yeah, no, 100% tacitly racist. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, God, real. Dude, don't even... My mom sent me an article. Oh, I don't even want to get on that, but she sent me an article about... <sighs> Not gonna do it, but yeah, shit's biased. <laughs> <laughs> not even gonna not gonna do it oh here's one that was fun i bookmarked this i mean not fun but i need to watch it later the washington post put together a 12 minute video of like police scanner audio and video from online they like scoured through hundreds of uh of videos and to get piece together a timeline of um when trump you know tear gas people to get a photo op in front of a church so i am a hundred percent going to uh gonna watch that later oh god eric i'm sorry man jesus Good shit, Bungie. Good job. Pre-recorded interview Ruby. footage. I'm the Destiny 20. 2 uh, <laughs> general manager. I'm, Hell yeah. I'm the Destiny 2 game director. Before we started the show today, we wanted to just acknowledge the circumstances and the... Uh, let me move my camera to the bottom right. Um, this is not how we had planned this several months ago. 
uh, to talk about the future of Destiny 2 and, and, and reveal where we're headed w w with the team. Um, you know, the, this show's not how we planned it. We're building the game, not how we planned it, from our living rooms and, you know, basements and with our kids and our dogs and all sorts of stuff <laughs> on our laps while, uh, while we're trying to make this game. Yeah, the... Uh this is just, there's like a there's like an inherent weirdness to this even the weirdness of you know this is the first time I've seen you in person for in the last like probably three months and I don't know if people know but outside of the show that is work like those are actually pretty close like we hang out we talk all the time our our significant others are buddies like uh, and so yeah this is it's like they're it's best super friends weird just guys to see you in person yeah not on yeah. a screen yeah not on yeah. this little like zoom screen on an iPad or something like it's just it's just totally bizarre yeah um, this is not how we envision this and certainly the audio is still pretty crystal be clear though us to talking they about probably this are stuff. mic'd um, and over the course of the well, summer we're a bunch more folks from the team no. are gonna are gonna talk about what we're what we're up to and what we're gonna be up to I guess I guess it's a Maybe boom mic why would you not yeah. Destiny is about friendship after all, the friend game. All right, let's go, boys. Let's fucking go. Fall expansion. It's a drifter, right? Yup. Yup. Air battle hype. Okay, Squeegee, you're gonna have to tune down your hype because that's not happening. Don't expect that ever. <laughs> that's overhype. <laughs> <laughs> Ninjas playing Terraria. <laughs> you guys couldn't see it because my camera's covering it. That's a dope ass sparrow. Are they converging, Eris and Drifter? Yeah, what if that was the stranger? That actually kind of. I don't know. I'm just gonna watch. I'm not gonna look at chat for a second. Get too distracted. Okay, that's definitely Eris. It's an Exo. It's an Exo, the Drifter, and Eris. Exo's riding the Sparrow. Eris is doing like a ritual. Drifter's dropping in. Holy shit, this looks amazing. Like, visually. My God, could it be? Could it be? The, could it be the stranger? No. Is this it? This is what I brought you here to see. It is, isn't it? Am I crazy? I don't want to. It's been a while since I've seen the stranger. Destiny Two Beyond Light. We got First Light now. Beyond Light. There it is, September reveal. That is, right? Oh my god. I'm looking up a clip, uh, a, a screenshot so, from uh, the first Luke, Destiny. Finally time to the Stranger. Ugh. You know, listen, yep. some jerk. It's gotta be right. The, we were done with the Stranger story. And as you get back into Woo! Destiny, you keep like looking around and finding stones to uncover. A character Let's go! Not forged in light, and where the two of you meet, ground can break. Yes, it is. The stranger is a huge deal. Leverage here in uh, Destiny 2 Beyond Light and going forward. You know, it is the beginning of a brand new era. In oh Destiny fuck yeah! 2. This fall, you're going to discover Europa, a brand new destination. Okay. And but you couldn't even tell it was them. Well, yeah, it's been a long ass time since I've seen the stranger, and it's a whole new game. Their art was visually updated. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit hard to tell. You're gonna face Aramis. But once I see and I'm confirmed, the stranger itself is a big deal, Jace. Like you, Aramis is a leader, but unlike you, she seeks revenge against the Traveler for scattering her people's once great houses to the cosmic winds. It's up to you to confront Aramis and her girl. I agree Empire with Jace. Guys, the stranger was the fucking it's main. It's up to you to go beyond and discover long dormant secrets. The main point of the Destiny 1 story time, that was just like, oh, yes, forget go, about her. Right, 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 right. That one I yeah. heard of, yeah. Doing it. There's a lot more to Europa than you might imagine. And here's sure, first probably, Shonen. That's a good. Destiny 2, that's a good comparison. 
The Stranger was like the main Where part of the from? Destiny 1 vanilla one. story, and then they I never talked about her, and there was no conclusion to her story. I refuse to let it happen again. It's music. Okay. Me in game right now. It's time the truth presented itself to you. Darkness resides within, beckoning you. What's up, Ardara? How you doing? This is a truth we cannot hide from. And so we must embrace it. Pyramids. Was that a... Was that like a fallen mech? <laughs> The line between light darkness and dark subclass is so that seems easy. like a leap but again I don't know Let's the lore. Cross it together I'm not a lore master like you wear it oh god oh maybe oh shit I think you're right wow are they actually whoa oh my god Eric was right look at that look at this Wow, they're actually doing it. I never thought they'd do that. I will give these guardians the destruction they crave. Okay. I can't believe they're actually doing that. Man, it's time to wield no, the darkness. No, it's not an... We've been waiting. <sighs> Destiny 2 it's Beyond not an, Light I think you were right. It's a darkness of class, not an ice of class. December 22nd this year. And it kicks off a new Un era Unless it's both, you know, Players unless will it's discover a... the true nature, the we'll, light, we'll and the dark. Not just walking the thin line between, but wielding the darkness itself as a weapon with stasis. And see, and we did you're right the first time. Very brief look at that today, and you know, obviously, we're going to end up showing more throughout the course of the summer. And the other thing is, stasis, this new power, isn't just going to be guardian supers and abilities. It's a brand new damage type, so that means it's going to ultimately sit along. Wow, the that's huge. And void as the first new element we've introduced to the game since the original Destiny release yep. way back in 2014. This that's is a big. big. Deal. Like. It's a big deal to add this to the universe. Like, it changes everything. And it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, I could imagine, Today, dude. Yeah, you got a glimpse of this this new power, and it's oh, it's man. definitely the pursuit and acquisition and, and the player's ability to wield it is something that's going to be woven in through the narrative of the game. Like, the game is kind of a collision course between you and, and Aramis, and uh, we're going to show you a bunch more about Stasis later in the year. Because though we're excited about what we're delivering this fall, we did say that Destiny 2 Beyond Light was the beginning of a new era. What does that mean? Well, it, it means that we're thinking about destiny beyond just any given year and thinking about it over time. And so we want to take a look into kind of the long future of destiny. But when you want to look ahead, like we're about to do, it all starts back at the beginning. What are you doing to me right now? What are you doing to me? Don't give me destiny one shit because I'll be all about it. <laughs> I'm weak. Oh, look at this. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. We called it... Let's go! The Traveler. And its arrival changed us. If they fucking put D1 content in this game, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. Because, like, a, legit, that's one of my main complaints with the... Never. the darkness. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Oh, this makes me so happy. Mm. I love Destiny 1. I have Six so many good memories with this goddamn down. game. Into the oh, like seeing those In the end, vistas. They all bow like even that, I'm like, oh, I love Krita. <laughs> we have slain. D1 king. remaster campaign. Not gonna son. lie, I've wanted that for a long and time. Now the Taken King comes for us all. D Squeegee, 100%. I've agreed with that for a long time, and I've thought that the last step for that is to put D1 in D2. But like, I didn't, I definitely never thought they were actually gonna do that. I'm still not saying they're going to, but, cause that's too good to be true. We thought we were Rise of Iron, one of the best fucking expansions. Fight me. God, Destiny is like my fucking weak spot, man. You're not brave. I hope so, Jace. They're, the I've talked about it a lot because I feel like it is the only thing that D2 is missing now. Like, they've... 
They've added so many features that I wanted from D1, like collections and triumphs and shit like that, that now it's like the only thing they're missing is being able to go back and visit those places. It feels weird. It's not like WoW, right? Whereas it should be like WoW. We should have been there. Any last words? I'm coming home. So, F. this is to be a reckoning. This is awesome, and I love this video so goddamn much. Like, the video of going through the history of Destiny. Oh. How long has it sat in silence? Watching us. We're getting it caught up, boys. Responsible for our collapse. Our coming back. <laughs> We've been waiting. We are your salvation. The line between light and dark Pyramids. is so very thin. Dorito ships are coming, boys. They're already here, right? That was a terrifying face. Here. Do you know which side you're on? Oh, 2021, Destiny 2, The Witch Queen. Shit. Wow, they're talking about past fall? Even if it's the wrong side. What? We were they just Destiny revealed two expansions Destiny past Destiny 2. the fall. It starts with Beyond Light coming this fall. Wait. It's gonna continue with the next major expansion, The Witch Queen, and Lightfall is gonna kind of drive this all to a uh, to a moment. These three releases represent this new era in Destiny. These eras began really in 2014 with that era of light where you know players entered Destiny for the first time. They were resurrected. They went to the tower. They learned about uh, the things the children were scared of, and you know we we exited that era uh, when we became guardians. We are now coming out of an era of loss of our powers, one of our mentors, our innocence, and soon we will be entering an era of darkness. And if it's not clear, we are all in on Destiny 2. Last year, we laid out a vision. I told you, D3 is never, it's not a thing. Definitive action MMO. Place it in an awesome evolving world that you can play anytime, anywhere with your friends. We are still completely committed to this ambitious Put Destiny mission, 1 content. We're gonna continue reaching to deliver it in, in Destiny 2. Destiny 2. And to be clear, and just I'm sure like over here Destiny. in the Twitch chat, there's like, you know, some mix of salt and space dad. You know, we haven't gotten everything right out of the gate. You know, for example, we've already begun working on changes that we're going to make to our seasonal model in year four to get a bunch of the FOMO that's in the game right now out of it. And this is a response not only to your feedback, but just, you know, we took it in not the wrong direction. 100% with that, but it's fine. We're also working on things like Embrace transmog. The darkness. And that's gonna transmog is dope. That means that's exciting. Armor is kind of always valuable to you because it yep. can always represent a look. It's you. only something that yeah, every other MMO has, has done. Experience that we're working on things like the quest <laughs> is going to get like another awesome revision. We've got like small touches, like a oft requested one. And I, th I think when we started Beyond Light, uh, this was one that uh, I made to my Zach in, in you know the. Uh... Yeah, getting a dark title screen <laughs> back in Destiny so that the light white heat of the title screen doesn't light up your entire apartment at two a.m. <laughs> so there are the small features, but then there's also some big features and maybe one of the biggest is next generation support i think one of the most exciting things we're going to talk about is well, the game's going to run at 60 frames per second and 4k resolution on the new hardware yo we're good shit really guys good job you already own that's amazing own in destiny 2 will come with you to your next generation console of choice at no extra charge on playstation you'll be able to upgrade to playstation 5 for free and on xbox we will support smart delivery also for free. In plain English, this means if you own Destiny 2 expansion content on those platforms, now hire me, Bungie. Or buy Beyond Light in September, 
You F -O -V can play the oh my god for free without buying the expansion <laughs> again. We think that's going to be awesome. I want to work for you, Bungie. about busting up your friends list either because we're going to support intergenerational crossplay within each console platform ecosystem. Ah. This means that if you, your brother's playing on PS4 and Bummer. your sister's playing on PS5, all three of you can play together. We're going to do the same thing in the Xbox ecosystem. This year we're focused on intergenerational play. Hopefully next year we can finally do the thing and get them all playing together in the same ecosystem. Yes. I Two the years Shadow after cool. cross save, but okay. Shadow brought back the moon and upgraded and enhanced it, and so we we brought a destination out of the vault and you know spruced it up and that's bring what we got all to play. of it back. We're not doing that with this fall's destination, uh, Europa. It's a brand new place you've never been before. They're not gonna we bring D1 content into the game, guys. Are going to also include brand it's too good new, to be true. never before seen destinations. These expansions will stretch out across the timeline that's going to bring much anticipated enemies to the forefront and hopefully deliver some twists, turns, drama that uh, we don't think anyone's going to see coming. But to deliver these big content beats each and every year and keep building on top of our seasonal experiences while making technological leaps forward, we also need to make some big changes to the way we treat some of our older legacy content. The stuff that Maybe incentives along in the tooth that you're not really looking at and playing anymore you're no, not D destiny really... destiny 2 is a huge game we have nine destinations 40 story missions how many raids adventures, say it 42 lost sectors 17 strikes 31 pvp maps seven raids and hundreds seven of raids that layer on top think about that i could go on and i probably seven up raids one of those in this game the fact is the game is too large to efficiently update and maintain we're on track to be like 115 gigabytes on PlayStation alone, and our updates to the game are huge, and we're starting to reach the limits of our ability to patch. We don't want to start over from scratch and build a sequel. And in order to make a sequel, we would have to stop supporting Destiny 2. Like, it would effectively go dark. You know, we talk about a single evolving world. A single evolving world. Not multiple evolving worlds, but a single evolving world. Good. And you broke it off with D1. Don't do that D1 again. To have that loss of continuity with our game in. systems and our communities and all the players together. We don't want to put another number on the box. Good. So instead, I love it. here's our plan. Each year, just as a new expansion comes out, we're going to cycle older, less actively played activity and destination content out of the live game and into what we're calling the Destiny Content Vault, the DCV. <laughs> Moving content into this vault is going to allow us to add support. That's for literally the opposite of what? Beyond Light, the Witch Queen, and... No, I, we want you to keep it relevant. <laughs> this vault is also going Not... to allow us to take content uh, from Destiny okay. 1, oh! do some work on it, get it ready to come back into the Destiny 2 ecosystem. So we're not just going to be taking stuff away. We're also going to be going into those the classic vaults and kind of bringing some stuff back or unvaulting activity and destination content each year. Thinking about the greatest hits of Destiny, right? Like, what's what are the new tracks we can lay down? Stop believing. What's something from the past that was like pretty? I'm cool trying to believe. It's be just you know, it seems too good to be true. Today. And what does what does that look like? Yeah, oh there's God. a lot of stuff that people. There's a lot of awesome stuff. That Tell me more. Let's go. Of, you know, six years of. Six years of making Destiny and that Destiny 2 player. Well, they didn't say totally exactly. They, they're they putting it in a year. vault. They're doing Destiny a different. It's coming back this fall as a selectable destination. It's three strikes are also going to come back during season 12 and season 13. And part of the awesome thing here is a bunch of players <laughs> haven't played Sepix. Sepix was. <laughs> well, Jason, I'm so glad you're right. Beta, way back in like summer it's, 2014. It was just too good. The, like, trip, but I'm the so glad. oldest. It was like the, definitive, most... the definitive, like, original strike that yeah. we felt like hit the right notes. Yeah, in, in Destiny One, right? And yeah. we left all that behind when we made Destiny Two, and we're saying like, we which you do shouldn't have done. Well, let's not do that again, but let's also reach into the past. Yes, and, like, bring it. I'm so something. happy. I'm gonna throw this fucking in coffee mug Maybe into the this wall. Year we'll see a, a classic raid come back. I think it'd be yes! amazing this year to see the Vault of Glass kind of unvaulted and returned in front of. Yes, I can I'm so excited. Champion Praetorians instead of just regular Praetorians, and kind of updating it slightly to the modern yeah! context. Uh, but still preserving that like Let's classic. Go theme. this fall when the expansion comes out. Fucking go, chat! Cosmodrome and adding Europa. <laughs> Why do you break things and shit on stuff when you're that's been free, that isn't actively played? And that's that's when some of that is going to be vaulted. <laughs> well, after the show, we're going to have a much more in-depth article that you can read on our plans for for vaulting content on Bungie.net and why we're taking this. It's an interesting approach. approach. What it means for the game this year and for the game going forward. 
It's not exactly what I would want, but I think the more I hear about it, the more I'll like it. But I need to hear de details. Squeegee, thank you for the 100 bits well to old raids and content. Let's go. Wrath of the Machine. You know, we've, we've placed a bunch of bets on the Destiny Cosmic Board, whether it's the Traveler waking up, whether it's the Stranger dissolving after telling you, you know, there's, there's so much more to explore out there. And so we're going to start to bring a bunch of these threads home. And here's a look at Get the it. beginning of those threads coming home to roost this summer in Season of Arrivals. Get it. I need to clip out me fucking losing my shit. Don't let me forget that. The Almighty has been reduced to smoldering ash. Guys, I'm so in. And with allies like Rest. I'm a full-time Destiny 2 streamer now, guys. Who can stop us? From Titan to Mercury. Their shadow reaches. I mean, sure, Eric, but like, I want both. <laughs> Trick. We can't know until we hear their words for ourselves. You bring weapons. We still haven't heard about this season. So that's we're gonna hop into this season in 30 minutes and get to see what's going on now. The darkness reached out. This was mainly about the future. The witch sister of the taken king, Savathun. Oh, there it is, Eric. There it is. We are the final line that halts the second collapse. Ooh, look at that. New trace rifle. Kind of. Yourself, Guardian. Yeah, this is this is this season. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Season arrivals, yep. There it is. Gotta love leaks. Available now. I mean, really? At 11.31? So that's the season of Arrivals, and it starts any minute now at 10 a.m. Pacific. So 30 tonight, minutes. We looked at a bunch of stuff. We talked about the Destiny content vault. We looked into the past to see kind of... Oh, my God. I can't. We, today. we looked into the far future with The <sighs> Witch Queen and Lightfall, and we also talked about Beyond Light, which is the beginning of a new era in Destiny Dude. 2. And... If pre-ordering is kind of your thing, like, Pellegrini, we gotta talk about live it today. Like, if you're if you're interested, there's some there's some sweet bonuses, and uh, you know that's that's kind of the the summary of the show. Uh, we're and you're if you're excited about the start of Beyond Light and where we're headed, well, the season arrivals. We it's kind of like a prelude, you know. It's it's really setting up that story. And so I nutted, dude. Same. Anyway. There's one more thing I totally forgot. Uh, so today at 5 p.m. Pacific. We're going to launch a brand new dungeon called Prophecy. Uh, Prophecy Three o'clock central. That involves the nine. And that's kind of like all I'm going to say about it. Because there's... there's new dungeon at three o'clock, boys. With it, and then Who's with me? Pellegrini? Let's do it. But it's got a brand new set of armor for you to chase. It's got some, some classic armor for you to chase. It's going to be at a really high power level. Which classic armor? Like a, a solid day's work plus a little bit of skill. To, to summit that mountain. 5 p.m. Pacific, players, 3 p.m. Central. Players. And we're going to show you a trailer. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Anything from the dungeon. Just no, that's that's right seven. So get up and go. Yeah, that's seven. Um, that's seven my time. Sorry, back, went the wrong way. The stream will be over, and you can play uh, you can play Season of Arrivals in Destiny 2. I want to see I it. I think though. that's the business side, right? We're like yeah. there. We're, we've think, we're think, we've yeah, handled everything. I think it's the, the time to say thank you all for tuning in and giving us your time today. Yeah, that, that's and that's seven central. And, and being part of this amazing But we, it's very possible we're not going to be able to do it. continue to be a journey. Well, let's see. On behalf of everyone at Bungie, please, please, please stay safe out there. And, you know, we'll see you soon. I have to get, I have to get the twit. I, I have to get, ugh, I have to get the clip of me uh, losing my shit about Destiny 1 content onto Twitter right now.
cool. Real, it is absolutely not too late, man. Absolutely not. New dungeon prophecy. Fuck yeah, boys. Oh, armor in in the dungeon. Let's fucking go. Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited. Holy shit. I might even clip this out and put this reaction stream on YouTube later today. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, hey, like and subscribe, hit the bell, Omega Lol. <laughs>